I am bright eyed and my hair is quite bushy faced <laughs> to share with you my most repurchased, most loved, most holy grail skincare items. Now for skincare type videos like this, I want to show you with no makeup on my face. That way you can get a good indication of how my skin is going. So if you definitely want to look at other prior skincare videos in the playlist, you can get an idea of how the, the skin and so forth has been looking. The glow, the lack of, the dark marks, the lack of. I feel right now definitely my skin is looking its best. Just healthy as can be. So I want to share the products with you. I'm going to first start off with my cleansing device and it's the Clarisonic. This is the skin cleansing device that I have first used when it roughly kind of first came out in the market. The biggest misconception about the Clarisonic device is that it's like an exfoliating product. Think of it as a skin loosening product. It's not going to exfoliate your skin. There's nothing in the brush heads. It's not like little prongs or something coming out and starts like you know trying to get away at your dead skin cells it's not that at all it is just simply loosening up your dead skin loosening up helping it shut off so that way you have that clear that well you know your new skin underneath so I just really want to make sure that my skin is clean at night makeup removal or not even any makeup period I just know that just using this at night it's really helped getting in there and not only basically you know help clean out your pores but just loosening up the skin because of course I do use exfoliating products that is going to help further shed the skin my second item will be my exfoliator and this is an exfoliator that I have repurchased again and again and again this is from Kate Somerville and it is the exfoliate Ooh, look at how tiny the bottle is you're probably like what the heck is that I actually cut it I cut this because there's so much left up just all dug up in there that when you're done with the the tube you think okay I'm done with it no cut it open and you've got enough probably for a good three more weeks in there I can use it every single day you only need a tiny bit we're talking I can't even think of what is it maybe a pea size probably a pea size of the vegetable pea just a tiny bit is needed because you just work it in your skin it spreads you work it in and then I let mine sit because I do my exfoliation exfoliation Kate all this pun I do my exfoliation in the morning so what I do is I will take the amount of the exfoliate and I will spread it and I'm, I'm rubbing it into my skin when my skin is still slightly damp I recommend that when your skin is still slightly damp just work it in and then I just go about my business I wash it off and go to the next step and that's it and my skin is extremely smooth my third product is is something that I actually already use um, after I exfoliate my skin and that's my toner now this toner I have talked about it Tom blue in the face blue in the face you probably already know what it is what is she gonna pull out <gasps> Neutrogena's pore refining toner Neutrogena named it perfectly pore refiner toner so a toner go ahead and use it of course after you cleanse your skin now the poor part is I feel with that is the the active ingredients that is inside of this toner with the glycolic acid and the other forms of acids that's in here what it can do is really clean out your pores it is absolutely critical I feel if you are an individual with blackheads you're prone to blackheads you really need to clean them out you really need to extract them this is going to be like your doctor right there if you got your little extraction tool right there and you got this toner you're not only going to see it help you know get the gunk out you're going to see an improvement over time can i should i dare say this i feel like a like a game show contestant like or the host i guarantee i guarantee fewer breakouts from using this toner it is that good now when I think of the word refine here's the second word in the title refine this is where the toner is going to improve your overall skin texture and I really feel that it's going to help with the pore size as well now keep in mind your pore size 
it's hereditary. So at the end of the day, you, you, you scream and holler at your parents and your genes for that matter. But what this toner is going to do is I feel it's going to help create that illusion that the pores have been reduced inside. I think that's what it's doing. It's doing its own little thing, but it's helping it. I, I guarantee it is going to change the texture of the skin. That is exactly what I noticed with my skin. And that's probably the first thing I noticed overall when I very first started using this toner. Moving on to the fourth item, and it's another item I'm just like, I can just kind of get like a little shaky. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm like, I gotta have it. I gotta have my liquid gold, my Hada Labo liquid gold. This is a product for life. I mean, right, I'm, I'm gonna say it, right? For every product for life. Now, in Japan, this product is like, it flies off the shelf as it should, right? It should because it has all these different forms of hyaluronic acid inside, drawing in the moisture and keeping it in the skin helping keeping your skin hydrated, which, well, here we go again, let's think of it in theory. Your skin is hydrated, it's nice and plump, it's youthful. Let's think of all those you know, adjectives, all those descriptive words to describe beautiful, healthy, glowing skin. Now my first bottle I was all just excited about, of course, was the uh, white bottle of the Hyda Lava Lotion. And that, of course, had the hyaluronic acid in it. But once I came across this one, because my white bottle design wasn't sold at that time, they were reformulating the bottle. And so I was told that this is the brightening one. That's all I needed to hear. Brightening, radiance, glow. Oh, why didn't I find this out sooner? And this actually had has about five times as much of the hyaluronic acid in it, so the different forms of it. So of course, with the added benefit of the vitamin C and adding of the radiance with this version of it, I really like this one. You're going to see the benefits the most with that product, the liquid gold, if you use it twice a day in the morning routine, in the evening routine. If you only use it once a day, I'm not responsible. I'm not responsible if you're like, oh, what's she talking about? I don't see my skin hydrated. It's because you're not doing it twice a day. Like I said, twice a day, liquid gold. Next item is a mist. I love a good mist. And this is a mist, the rose mist. So AE. This is a Korean brand, the Revitalizing Rose Mist. I only have a little bit left. And I actually need to go pick up another one. I also have the cucumber one, but I don't find the cucumber one to be as as hydrating as this. This has like the um, the berries in it too, like extracts, as long with the rose. And it just, I mean, mm, the skin is so hydrated. In America, where I live, uh, So AE is found at Walmart. So if you have a Walmart near you, definitely check it out. My whole mask routine, doing a different mask every night. Whenever I would use this mask, so it was time to use this mask, what I noticed is if I had an active breakout in my hormonal area, so along my jawline, it was white. That white head would just suddenly appear. So apparently it's this, this mud from Turkey that is supposed to just push everything to the surface. Just really push it up and clean it all out and get rid of it, the breakout. It is something that really will go in and attack it, attack an active breakout. Now, right now, I do, and I still continue to do this, and I'm sure I will just, that's just how I'm gonna use the mask. It's a specific spot conceal mask, wherever that pimple is, or it's coming to the surface. So let's say it's not even to the surface, I will still put in that area that I can feel it, and sure enough, it brings it up. So that's how I use it. I'm not sure how it would work on a blackhead, because I haven't really used it for that purpose, but definitely can vouch for it as far as whitehead and really getting rid of that pimple, and we're talking quick quick. My next item of life, of course, I'll be using for my second part of my life because my first part of my life, I have been using it. I started using my Retin-A that I get prescribed from my dermatologist. I started using it in my early 20s. If not, I was 20 when I first started. It's a high concentration of vitamin A. So it is going to help fight the wrinkles. It's going to help with, with everything. I like to just say with everything. Anti-aging, dark spots, I said wrinkles already, firmness. Once you reach a certain age, the insurance will say, 
Uh-uh, I'm cutting you off. You obviously are enjoying this Retin-A cream for only anti-aging benefits. Not really for your acne or your acne scarring. Of course, hello, medical company, insurance company. Why, why else will I continue it? So at a certain age, they will cut you off. So you will have to pay for it out of pocket which is what I do, I just pay for it out of pocket. But if you have like a savings card, you can use your pharmacy's um, discount card as well, then it knocks down the price. The quicker you get on it now and form that habit of using it and taking care of your skin, you'll see, you'll see the difference. Instead of just waiting till let's say you're a certain age and go, oh, okay, I need to be worrying about anti-aging. Mm -mm. You've got all this catch up work that you need to do. Start now. My last skincare item, is the item that has been always repurchased since I was a teenager, probably, when I very first started getting into using sunscreen, and that's what it is, it's sunscreen. The sooner you can get on sunscreen and using it, forming again that habit of using sunscreen and getting it on your face and getting it everywhere as a daily part of your routine, the better. You're gonna be doing the most benefit just for your overall health, for your overall anti-aging for your skin. I preach about this as, as so much on this channel about skincare. I'm just throwing this in, this little tiny rat. So just bear with me, bear with mama bear. You can put anything on your face with this skincare, but if you are just putting nothing but crap into your body, food, drugs, uh, smoking, alcohol, everything in excess, stress. Oof. Get rid of the people, get rid of the noise, get rid of the people, just get, get rid of them, cut them off. Friends or family, don't matter, <laughs> gone. Worry about your inside just as much as your outside. None of this is gonna fix nothing if you're not also worrying about what you put inside. So I wanna make sure I put that in again as I like to preach it. Those are my most repurchased, always will repurchase skincare items. These are truly items I cannot live without. And I wanna share them with you. Let me know if there's any that you've already tried. I hope there is. Let's get a discussion going and I wanna know how they're working out for you. Especially if you're, if you're noticing you're having the same experiences that I have been. I wanna thank you so much for watching, stopping by and spending time with me today. I hope you all have a wonderful day or evening. And as always, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Goodbye everyone. <laughs>